Hello and thank you for joining another EMEA webcast for Office 365. Um, today we are going to discuss how we can use the Support and Recovery Assistant to Ocera um, to help us troubleshoot common Outlook issues. I'm going to launch my Support and Recovery Assistant tool. Okay, so it's taking some time to launch the application. Okay, so I'm going to choose that I need help with, um, I'm having trouble with uh, Outlook client, with my emails, with folders, and other Outlook features. So I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to choose that I need help in finding missing or deleted items in Outlook. Uh, and um, as you can see, the uh, support and recovery system tool can be used by both end users and administrators. And this feature is a beta feature because this is a new feature that has been added within the Sarah tool to help um, users and administrators uh, find missing or deleted items in Outlook client. I'm going to click Next. And is this the affected machine? Yes, this is the affected machine. If I do not choose that this is the affected machine, or, I have not, or if I have not installed the tool on the affected machine, then it will not be able to continue because um, the Sarah tool needs to run and perform a series of uh, readiness checks on the affected machine. So I'm going to click Next, and I'm going to enter the email address of my um, demo account, which I am using for this demo. And I'm going to click Next. And here, um, the Sarah tool is validating the user authentication and auto-discover information. It performs a series of networks checks, um, tenant validation checks, license protocol, and mailbox property checks. It performs auto discovery checks uh, primarily to fetch the um, Exchange Web Services URL for the user to run and retrieve items from the Recover Deleted Items folder. Uh, the Recover Deleted Items folder is a hidden folder where all permanently deleted items are kept for a certain time based on the default mail retention policies for that user um, or the tenant. OK, so the Sarah tool has um, told me that we can't sign in using the account. So um, we may have entered the wrong email address or password. I'm going to go back and enter the correct email address for that. on Microsoft.com. Okay. And I'm going to click Next. Uh, again, the Sarah tool is running. Um, some readiness checks, and it's fetching the uh, tenant information details. Uh, it's checking um, the license, the protocols, the mailbox properties. Um, again, it will be running uh, and performing a series of auto discovery tests uh, to fetch the Exchange Web Services URL as discussed. Um, it also will run diagnostics for connectivity online offline mode and it establishes a connection to the mailbox in Office 365 um, in the data centers online and runs a comprehensive search for the missing or deleted items. Okay, so um, as you can see, the Sarah tool is giving us a continuation of the troubleshooting and it's letting us see exactly what it's doing um, in the troubleshooting. So it says we're attempting to retrieve the Office 365 user settings, the auto discover settings, and the user properties of this mailbox. So um, as you can see that um, as, a, as any user, uh, 
I had entered an incorrect um, password, so um, that's fine. The Sarah tool is very friendly again to use. Uh, as an end user, I can just go back and re-enter the password and it continues working on. So um, that was actually not planned for this demo, but it's good for you to see. All right, so again, it's running um, some auto-discover policies and it's retrieving uh, the auto-discover settings for this user. And it's letting us see one by one um, what is being uh, done in the background. After uh, the uh, support and recovery system tool, Sarah finishes uh, troubleshooting the issue, it will then uh, ask us for details about the missing item, such as the email address of the sender, the date range, uh, the subject, so that it runs a comprehensive search uh, for the recovered deleted items. And here we go. So it needs to gather uh, about the missing information. So I need to enter the email address of um, the uh, user who had sent me an email that I can't find anymore. So I'm going to enter the email address. And um, the Sarah tool asks me to specify the date range uh, that. I had received this email on, uh, but I don't remember the date range, so I'm going to choose to skip that. And uh, the Sarah tool wants to gather some further details about the subject, uh, the full subject of the email item. And if I don't remember the subject as well, I can just skip that. And here, uh, the Sarah tool is connecting to our servers to run. Uh, and get some um, mailbox properties for this user to check um, the recoverable uh, message items to be able to retrieve the item that is missing. Okay, and this just takes a few moments. And here it is. Uh, the Sarah tool has found that there are two emails uh, from this user and the, the dates that they were deleted on. So I want to retrieve the one from October 10th. And I want to recover that one. So I'm going to click Next. And the uh, Support and Recovery Assistant tool, Sarah, is recovering the item for me. As you can see, the item is not in my inbox. And here it has been recovered. Okay, and uh, your item has been found and it has been restored in the mailbox and the Sarah tool is giving us a summary of what was done and we can copy the results and view the detailed results um, as an end user and as an administrator. I'm going to click next. Uh, here the Sarah tool says that we collected some additional data. Um, if we want to view the logs, we can set, see the logs that can be sent uh, to Microsoft. So I'm going to say that I don't want to send now. So this tool says, OK, we won't send the logs. And here uh, is a short survey to rate if the tool has fixed the problem. Yes, my problem has been fixed. I'm going to give it a five star rating. And yes, I would have contacted Microsoft support if my issue is not resolved. And I'm going to submit that. And that's it. Thank you for joining.